Here we are, stopped at Wallace Craigie Lookout. Say good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. The start of our Vic trip, just heading down the Barry Way. Selfies in the background. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to our Victorian high country adventure. We've got a week in the high country. This is our first camp on the banks of the Snowy River. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> such inspiration. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? You two are so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, Here we are, God. just crossing the Victorian border. Say woo! woo! Just pulling up at the uh, Suggin Buggin, Suggin Boogin, however you want to say it, schoolhouse. Suggin just buggin. there. And uh, we're just going to watch Carlo dance in a second. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need right there. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> you go inside, there's a guest book and everything. You gotta get the creek of the day. The Sugenbogen schoolhouse was built in around 1860 by the O'Rourke's who were the first settlers of the area and has been maintained by the Jelantipi Historical Society since. From here we're on our way to McKillop's Bridge Campground for the night with a little sidewalk off down to the sea, Little River Falls. Just here at Little River Falls on the way to McKillop's Bridge Camp. Cool little falls. And a big cliff down there. <laughs> and the peanut gallery. Over there somewhere. Here we have the convoy crossing the famous McKillops Bridge, the timber structure bridge and for the size of it, it really is pretty special. Uh, if you Google around, you probably wouldn't believe me, but you'll find photos of the water about three metres off the top of the span, which is incredible considering the height above the water it is today. Bit of a tricky rutted section along the Mount Gibbo track, uh, the big GU, making light work of it though.
And here's Brad in the mighty black D-Max bouncing his way up this slippery, rocky section of track. It's really, really greasy there. Let's see how he goes. Oh, so close, Brad, so close. Almost had it. And he's done it, straight up. What a weapon. Here's Doc in the big GU making it look easy. And here comes Doc's young fella, Joey. Slipping and sliding and bouncing up this slippery section of track. Come on, mate. Give it some. Give it some. Ah, oh, not quite. Not quite. Bit of track building needed, I think. Here's Hendo in his shiny new Hilux Rugged X, getting it done. And speaking of shiny and new, this 200's new to Dickie and Kath and it's just had a major fit out. And look at it go. Creek hut where we spent camp last night. Nice hut, massive big grassy area by the river. As you can see the rabble down there. This is Bomber. Bomber had a lovely evening last night. Very pleasant evening. Bomber feels good. Oh, feels great. <laughs> on, I'm so happy for the day. <laughs> yeah this Very right here is your style today. guru Hamish. Look at those bad boys, Crocs and Socks. You look at the feet and you imagine an 80 year old, but look, look, <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Pulled up here on the side of the road, about 5 to 11, 11th hour, 11th day, 11th month. And the real miracle here is you're going to see all of these people shut the fuck up for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can hear me because it's a bit windy, but here we are at top of Blue Rag Range, uh, up at the Trig Point. One of the uh, most spectacular scenery-wise drives, I reckon, in the entire high country. Uh, our whole group's just come up. Uh, we've got a little bit of footage of everyone coming up, so we'll show you that as well. But yeah, the views up here are just amazing. Those uh, unbreakable Hiluxes Woo! doing their thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it'll still go. Yeah. Un unbreakable Hiluxes. Just, how how just are they going? Go very well. How are they going, Carlo? Good? Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Just yeah. Open. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey. well, if you put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, 
our one sneaky night pro trip at the famous Dago Hotel. Mount Sarah track up at the helipad. Pretty cool views. And here comes young William up the hill. Bloody steep. Good views though. to be in the wet this one Probably looks like a normal piece of bush, but it's a bit of a sombre location for us. It was just over a year ago that we lost a good mate and an adventurer, and uh, this is the spot we lost him. So uh, we've all just had a bit of a sip of rum to uh, cheers Mr. Rum. Um, it's bloody disgusting, and I've never drunk so much rum in my life than I have because of that bloke. But uh, just, yeah, taking a minute to remember. Our camp on Buckland River. There's a Kelly. You, that's a rare breed of wildlife that you'll see occasionally at camps. Campfire nachos cooked in the camp oven. Not bad. Well, we got to visit the site where one of our good mates passed away, doing what we all love to do. And um, it's a little bit of wood from the site, so we'll just burn it because we all know how much Rummy loved the fire. So here's the Rummy. Rummy! Here we are on the walk to. Eurobin Falls.
Glen Falls, just taking some photos, gone on a little hike, it's about one and a half K, it's not too far. Uh, but this will probably be the, the goodbye of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.